So, if you believe that Australia only makes over-the-top reds, then I have to introduce you to this wine right here. It's the Bleasdale 2018 Mulberry Tree Cabernet Sauvignon. Now, let's start with a little history about Bleasdale. They were established in 1850 as mostly a fortified wine house, but since have become a red wine house. 85% of their production is in red wine. Now, look, mulberry tree, obviously it has something to do with, with mulberry trees, and yes it does. There is that kind of forest adjacent to the vineyard, and that's what gives the wine its name. Now, I said it was a Cabernet Sauvignon, and for the most part it is. 90% of it is Cabernet Sauvignon, but there is 5% Petit Verdot, 3% Merlot, and 2% Cabernet Franc also in the mix. But here's the real story. All of those grapes are picked for acidity. Not something you usually hear about in an Australian wine, but yes, the guys at Bleasdale believe that acidity is key to a good wine. Why? Because wine goes with food and acidity helps that along. Spends 12 months in 20% new French pungents, which are the large barrels, which allows the fruit character to reign supreme. So, what's in this bottle? Let's give it a taste. On the nose, I'm getting some cassis, blackberry, and even some tea leaf notes, which is pretty interesting in an Australian red. First thing that hits you is that acidity. Wow, it almost overwhelms the palate at first, and it's not something you're expecting. Remember, this is an Australian red wine, a Cab Soap, and we always think of them as big, ballsy, brassy. But no, this one, mm, lots of dark fruit, a little bit of eucalyptus in here. That makes it kind of fun. That makes it Australian as far as I'm concerned. When you get that nice eucalyptus note in their cabs, definitely uh, an Australian wine. But it's that acidity that really wakes up the palate, gets things going, makes me like this wine more and more the more I taste it. That's the Bleedsdale 2018 Cabernet Sauvignon, the Mulberry Tree, and I give it four stars out of five. I'm Michael Pinkus, the Grape Guy, for MichaelPinkusWineReview.com. Join me again next week, we'll look at another great bottle of wine. You've been watching The Wine Review with the Grape Guy, Michael Pincus. You can subscribe to this series by clicking on the icon at the bottom right-hand corner of this video. Visit the website, MichaelPinkusWineReview.com, to sign up for the newsletter and see all the other wine-related content provided. And now you can become a supporter through Patreon.com slash Michael Pincus and pick up some great swag for doing so. That's Patreon.com slash Michael Pincus. Thanks for watching. See you next week.